Hello, my name is Dallas, and I'm back with more Animal Crossing New Horizons for the summer update. <clears throat> so it's probably been another couple weeks since I last streamed or played this. So I haven't made a whole lot of progress, but I think where I left off last time, I was getting a new shop upgrade. And I think I had two or three villa, like housing plots set down and all set up. I don't know if the villagers have moved into them yet or I have to wait, but I guess I'll find out now. Okay, so yeah, the swimming update is going in, and it looks like I can buy a new outfit at one of the shops to go swimming. And since it's been a couple weeks, then I probably need to talk to all the villagers to make sure everything's ready. Or everything's fine. So first, let me check my mail. Sixty-eight bells and interest. Uh, just quickly sort out my mail, and then I'll one thousand more nook miles because a resident moved in. Uh, rank B. I'm saying your walls just gorgeous. Keep enjoying. Enjoy included the gift and keep making that home happy with. So it looks like I got a rank B home. And I'm assuming that means three stars. Downloading the update. And a thing I got. Oh, there's new seasonal stuff. Okay. <clears throat> so I guess the first thing that I need to do is. Go talk to the. Actually, let's see what missions I have. Why is this blue? Upgrade with the different information about the sea creatures you captured. Oh, so it's for a new tab. There's comparatively not a lot of sea creatures. Com I wonder why that is. And I already donated a bunch of stuff, but let's just skim through it to clear out these marks. Okay, and I think these are the ones I did last stream, I just forgot to check them. Please... Okay. Uh, what are my current missions? Redeem Nook Miles, talk to neighbors, sell fruit, and sell clumps of weeds. Uh, hello, Monk. Thanks for stopping by. Alright. Ah. Uh, so I need to gather some fruit to sell, and then I need to go grab some weeds, and then I just need to talk to all the villagers. Um, and thank you for the follow. I also forgot I got... I think that's a song. Upright Vacuum. And a Snorkel Mask. Okay. What... Achievement did I get? Growing Collection. For... Over 200 furniture pieces, okay. Gotta, it's been a few weeks, so I gotta reacquaint myself with the controls. Ah, uh, shovel. Okay. And 
and back into the ground. That's what I was meant. That's what I was trying to figure out how to do. All right. So I still need. I think I need to see which village we moved in. So I should probably stop by the uh, residential services. Campsite build. I should probably check the campsite too. Uh, not particularly. I'm probably... Part of the issue is I don't stream very consistently. I don't have a locked-in schedule. But I do have another channel. And there's the link of chat there. All right. Cardboard box and cardboard box, okay. So I still need... I figured they would tell me... Oh. It's amiibo to invite guests. Okay, I don't have any amiibos. Okay. Let's see what's in the shop. I don't think there's any redeemables that I want right now. I also didn't realize that I have quite a few miles on me. Okay. Um. It's a leaf print wetsuit, but I do need to get that song. Okay. So let's go check out the shop upgrade since I think that should be finished now. And I would like to get a wetsuit as soon as possible so I can check out the new summer content. Or I should probably actually go get some weeds and fruits first. Alright, and thanks for subbing to the YouTube channel. Alright. Alright, grab a few fossils. Oh, there's a new villager. I think they were... yeah, they were the campsite one. So I don't accidentally slap them with a net. Chris is going to cancel before you. Alright. Uh, well, any assistance is appreciated. I wish I could be a bit more active in general, but usually I can only manage one or two streams a week, which is not the most ideal. And I tend to do really late streams, so like these kind of really early afternoon streams are especially rare, but I wanted to try to get this done early today. Just because there was a few streams later that I wanted to make sure I catch, but I did really want to check out the new Animal Crossing update. Because even though I don't put a lot of time in Animal Crossing, it's kind of nice to... S it's just kind of a nice every once in a while stream. Oh. Alright. Uh. 
is that... I should probably get a few more apples to sell. Alright. Oh, you. Your native language is Danish. That's kind of interesting. I'd imagine, like, the time zone difference is notably weird then. Because for me, it's like 4 in the afternoon, so what time is it over in? I guess. I'm assuming you're European if you're speaking Danish as your main language. So it's fairly late over there. Yeah. Uh, how many weeds do I have? I have 11, I need 20. Oh, there's a beetle I don't have. At 10 p.m. I guess isn't too bad. Alright. Miyama stag, it's Manwolf's jaw dropping. Alright, that's a new one to donate. And I should probably see if any of my villagers are in their houses. I don't know what this is. A giant cicada. I think that's also a new one for the museum. Okay, so somebody is home. Oh, it's Winnie. Alright. There's that. Miles Redemption done. Okay. Cell shells. I should probably talk to everybody at least twice. Okay, so they haven't filled in all the new properties from the time I took off. Ah, uh, it couldn't hurt to try out different languages to try to appeal to different demographics. I imagine do the one you're most comfortable in primarily, and then you could try something a little bit different every once in a while. Oh, my pockets are full. Just leave that there. And do I have enough weeds to sell? I do. Alright. Can't catch anything else right now. So you have your fluid in two languages, you might as well uh, make the most of it if you can. Uh, fluently, but close enough. Alright. Ah, uh, Do I... Maybe I have to order a wetsuit. I just... I didn't think that was the case. Alright. I also have done basically nothing with turnips. That just doesn't seem like a particularly... interesting thing to me. That's one... of the Animal Crossing mainstays that I've just kind of completely avoided. Okay. I think that's everything I need to sell. Um, I do not know that user. Alright. Uh. So I need get fossils assessed and... 
Earn bells by selling items. They have a pretty big base. Admittedly, I'm not the best at re like exploring different channels on either Twitch or YouTube. I tend to like follow a specific set of communities that branch out into other smaller communities, and that's kind of the way that I find most people. Which probably isn't the best for like finding new types of content. Ah. Like, I guess for the most obvious YouTubers, like, Markiplier is the first one I followed, and then I followed all of his friends, and then I followed all of their friends, and then just kind of went on from there. Alright. Alright. I have heard that is one thing that people do to find smaller channels is sort by viewers and then go inversely that. Alright. So I guess he's selling he's setting up a shop on the north side of the island. Um, try to take the boot again. Museum's new art exhibit. Okay. And I need to drop some stuff off in storage because my bags are full. Oh. SEB. Ah. Uh, oh, thank you for the compliment. I would like to generally be more active, but it's probably something that I really have to work on, or at least I need to get more consistent times. I tend to be like a really late night streamer by US standards, like around like midnight eastern time is usually when I end up streaming, but I usually do more playthroughs. But it is nice to a change of pace to do kind of more chill games like this every so often. Although they're definitely not the main type of game I go for. Ah. Right. Um. I need to clear up my storage. That's what I was doing. Maybe I should. Nobody's in the campsite. Oh, that's Boone's house. Uh, Canberra was down. Oh, they were north. All right. Or were they north? Maybe they're south. I'll just oh, wait there. Uh, can bears out? Okay. There they are. And they have fleas. So let's go ahead and get rid of those fleas. Yeah, I just graduated uh, last December myself, and I'm kind of it, been trying job hunting, but given the current world circumstances, that's not been the easiest. Generally, I should have probably used that time to do more, like, YouTuber Twitch stuff, but... I just kind of never really got a whole bunch of energy to do it. Alright. Got rid of their fleas. I think I already got a dragonfly, but I should probably catch it just to be safe. Unless it's already gone. Uh, I'm not really sure. Yeah, I'd imagine at that grade level you're probably not gonna have a lot of work. I just finished college myself, which even then it—I don't think college is 
nearly as bad as a lot of people made it out to be. Alright. Uh. But it might just be that I got lucky with my classes. Oh. I have bugs in my house. Alright. So I needed to check my storage. Because I have... I wasn't sure... I guess I know that, like, US and European grades are different. So I wasn't sure. I'm not sure how the semesters work. Like, from what I understand, the US has generally... longer... summer breaks. So, like, I'm pretty sure right now in the US it'll be... everybody's on vacation until probably the end of August for, like, elementary through high school. Ah. Uh. Mr. Flamingo, I think, is a song, so I need to check the radio. Did I not get a song? Did I just get a picture? Should I put up the vacuum? Maybe over here. There we go. Alright. I need to store my iron because I have two stacks. Uh, sticks I'm doing generally fine on, but I should probably split my wood stacks. Alright. Let's take probably... Oop. So putting these in storage. And I can put away my stones. Okay. I think I can safely put away the clay too. Is there anything else that I see that I need to store? Not really. Okay. Just a little bit more cleanup, and then I'll... maybe head back to the shop and see what if there's anything I want. Actually, I still have a couple more villagers to talk to. I think I need to talk to Sherb. And I could probably gather some fruit while I'm out to make sure that I get my uh, sales requirement. And then I also have to stop by the museum. I sh Oop. Message in a bottle. I forgot about that. Okay, what did I get? Okay. Natural garden table. Okay. It's like, yeah, I can't say I'm super familiar with European schooling systems because I'm... The only systems that I have vague exposure to are, like, the US systems and Japanese because I tend to watch a lot of anime and I took some classes in Japanese, so I kind of got a little bit introduced through those. So, like, as soon as it starts to get towards the Europe area, then I'm just completely, like, out of touch with that region. Which is probably not something I'm particularly proud of. Alright. Oh, so here's a housing plot that has a filled in. Did I actually need to still decorate this, or did I have to wait for it to be built? Oh, it's available, so somebody has to buy it. Alright. Let's grab some fruit and then go try to find Sherb. I 
And I also need to see if I can find any more. Uh, any more fossil spots, because I need two more fossils. There's one. Okay. One more fossil. Uh, like, well, I appreciate the compliment. One thing I should... I'm really bad about promoting myself in general, which is probably not also a reason why I don't grow particularly fast. Like, I could look into things like stream teams, or look into community aspects, or even promote on people's discords who offer it, but it's just kind of something that I'm not super comfortable doing. Ah. Is there anything at the dock? There is, and it looks like shark. I don't think I've caught any sharks. Like, I feel like there's a lot of avenues that I could do if I wanted to grow faster, but it's just I don't feel like I'm consistent enough to do them generally. Like, if I were to lock down a schedule, I'd probably... M yeah, that's definitely... There's definitely, like, appropriate places to advertise, and I definitely know where those places are. Okay, see you later. Yeah, see, I just, it's just not something I do. But, alright. So I'm just gonna... I still need to find Sherb. That's what I was doing. Uh, that I think is Winnie's house. Sherb is down... here. What was that? Oh, it's Ladybug. I think I've already got some of those, but... Doesn't hurt to get another. No, wait, it isn't. An earth boring dung beetle. I've not caught one of those. Okay. Sherp's house. In their home. Oh, they're making stuff. So that means they probably have a recipe for me. Okay. Right. A shell fountain. Alright. I should probably check how many recipes that I got too. And I might need to check back to the residential services. Because I, if I remember last time, checking in multiple times often resulted in multiple events. So they might ask me to... Alright, uh, probably just something break. Somebody needed the air conditioner turned on. Alright. Ah, uh, I can check the critter repeat it later, but I want to check my new recipes. So the natural garden tape, there's the shell fountain. Which I need giant clams, I want to make it. Okay. Ah. Uh, let's scroll this have anything else. Okay, so I think that's every villager. I still need one more fossil before I can stop to the museum. How am I doing on space? Generally good. Okay, so let's check the top side of the island. Oh, 
Okay. Um. Oh yeah, so I've got to check the boat. Almost forgot. So let's see what sketchy stuff he's selling. only buy one painting per day but furniture is open completely but it looks like there's only two pieces of furniture uh yeah let's just get the biggest painting he has okay what did you do by this? Okay. Wait to say he was a shipping he was shipping it over. So I probably have to wait for that before I can donate it. True patron of the arts. Painting art where it contributes to the cultural quality of life tale. No cake will get miles to folks to prove themselves to certain connoisseurs. Okay. So basically try to buy paintings every day. But he said I can't. Okay. Just wanted to double check. Is there actually anything else to buy other than those two items? It doesn't seem like it. Alright, so I got my daily art piece. I need to see where I can buy a swimsuit. Because I thought it said both at the regular store and at the uh, nook shopping. In which case I would have thought... Unless it's in the cabinet. It might be in the cabinet and I just didn't check it. That looks like the last fossil I need. Okay. That's three fossils to assess. And a grasshopper. I don't see anything up there. Okay. That was another fossil spot. How am I doing on storage? I have room for two more items. Okay. And I'm seeing a lot of rocks that I can also check later. Once I have a little bit more room. And I still need to go hunt around for more villagers to try to max out my island. I don't... Oh yeah, I need to... Stop by the residential services to see if they're gonna ask me to furnish any new houses. Because if somebody did buy a thing of land, then maybe they want me to furnish one. Which would give me something more concrete to do. Uh, I don't have enough space to fish, so I can't get the pond fish. The best stop right now would probably be museum to get all the fossils assessed in case I need to end up selling any. All right. So I go to the museum, check the shop to see if there is a swimsuit available, like just a general one. Because I'm assuming the Nook Miles ones are like the fancy design swimsuits. 
Okay. Okay, first. Secret submarine runners can be found off the shores. Okay. And you happen to find the way in your possession. Okay. So, show them sea creatures. Oh wait, I should probably assess fossils first. But it looked like I had a fair amount of stuff to donate. I think I have at least a handful of stuff I can give him. Okay. Get the four fossils and get my nook miles for those. Two, from, two new fossils, and I apparently didn't have a grasshopper yet. Cicada, Dinoni torso, and Plesio torso. Okay. And I think that's everything, so I can sell the last two fossils. And. With that and the fruit, it should push me over the 5,000 bells I need for some more miles. And then I can go redeem the miles for at least one ticket, and that'll cover the other two times thing that I have. Okay. How am I doing on cherries? I should probably just grab a few to sell. Even though they don't sell the best, just because I started the stack and holding on to one is kind of a waste. Okay. That's enough cherries. Let me grab this really quick. Because I know this is a different fishing locale. So I want to try to make sure I don't miss anything that might be special here. <clears throat> the days, I can sell that. Okay. So let me see if my hunch was right in that the swimsuit is in the cabinet. And I also didn't really check out the furniture they were selling because I saw a new toilet, which I probably could get. And I also forgot to check the hot item. Honey bee already have. That might almost be enough shells. That looks like everything. Okay. Moment to run the numbers. 24,000. Okay, that puts me at almost 100k. Okay, I did get the amount I needed for shells. Dude wants me to take a photo. And plant a tree. So let's check the cabinets first. Um... There's a wetsuit for 3,000 bells, so I'm definitely getting that. I 
Under form. Okay. Press A from the beach or nearby rocks to hop into the water. Why did I ever check it out? Okay. Swimming seems fairly simple. And I think... Let me check how much the furniture costs, because I don't have a treadmill. I don't know what this is. Formal paper. 620 bells is cheap, so I'll get it. And a toilet. 4,000, yeah, that's fine. And... Treadmill. That's too expensive. Retro fan. Yeah, sure, I don't think I have any of those, so it's nice to get at least one of every item if I can. I think I already have this kind of amp. Yeah, I already have that kind of amp. So I don't need to worry about that. I don't know if I have that specific type of bear, but I think I have a type of bear that might be the same. Okay. Let me move this tree. And maybe that'll give me credit for planting a tree. Because I think it's too close to the museum to grow. Oh, I completely botched that. Or did I? Can I do that with money trees and just replant them in different spots? Or will it not work? I'm not entirely sure how that works. I forgot that was a money tree and I thought I just had a tree that wasn't growing there. Well, I'll figure it out later. Once it ends up growing. If it ends up growing, I should say. It also did not give me credit for planting a tree. Alright. There's a lot of shells that I could collect if I wanted to. So I'm gonna... Clear out my inventory first. I wonder if a tree could grow here, or a coconut tree, if this is too close. That's probably too close to the water, but how about here? That might be far away enough, and I also didn't notice this bell tree. Okay. Back up to 90,000. I forget how much I have in debt. Which might be good to know. And I needed to go to the residential services building again anyway, in case they need me to help move in a new villager. First, I need to redeem something. <clears throat> I actually didn't... Okay, so that's mail. I want to see if there's any... thing that's immediate. Like, the Nookwet suit is by mail, so that would take me a few days if I went that route. Let's just buy another ticket, because I'm probably going to use that later. Okay. A 
Let's see what my debt is at. My current loan is 200,000 bells. So let's pay... Let's say 35,000 for pocket. Oops. Okay. Um, let me claim that really quick. It didn't give me credit for planting a tree. And I need to sell more fruit. What should I do? Okay. So I need to plant more decoration or use more decorations and plant more flowers. But specifically, I can ask her now what we need. Okay. Island of Al Evaluations. One star rating. So I think that's everything I need in the residential services area. I would like to figure out... I guess I'm a bit confused on how the current housing projects work, so maybe I should check the uh, house planting spots. Because it seems like nobody moved into them yet. It's Carlos's house. Oh, I did miss a villager. I briefly forgot about her. Okay, forgot about Flurry. Okay. Okay. So it sounds like at least from what they said, maybe improving the museum also increases the amount of rank, unless I'm misinterpreting that. Okay. Another fossil. I should probably try out diving now. How am I doing on space? Probably grab a few coconuts and then switch over to my diving gear. You go check out the swimming stuff. All right, nothing out by the dock. Oops. Okay. Where? And I thought I also had a snorkel unless I put it in storage. Oops. 
I guess I have to put away my items. <clears throat> this is a little bit spooky. Oh, but there's like a barrier around the side. Welk. Okay. I got sea an enemy. Anemone. Okay. I guess I want to see what kind of stuff I can get from diving because if it's just that Critterpedia tab, then that's a bit underwhelming. I got some seaweed. Oh, I couldn't kill myself. I'm upset. Okay. Okay, another sea anemone. Swimming is not particularly fast, but I guess it's a pretty limited area, so it's not too bad. I got an octopus. What is this? The glittering sea that surrounds our. Island is home to all kinds of captivating creatures. Put on your wetsuit, dive in, see what you can collect or earn miles. Okay. And then there's apparently this. Earn miles by diving deep, capture creatures, filling out your Critopedia. Oops. Okay. I didn't realize when you're diving it kind of locks your camera there, which is a little bit weird. Jellyfish. Okay, there's underwater understudy. Okay. So everything I caught wasn't recorded, so maybe like the seaweed is just something I can sell. Unless it's a crafting thing. Or, well, it's guaranteed that I can sell it, but maybe it's a crafting thing? More sea enemy. Eh. I hate pronouncing that, so I'm gonna not. Okay. How am I doing on space? I have quite a bit of space left. Oh, wait. Oh, another one spawned under me. I kind of thought it moved for a minute. Another one. Okay. I wonder what kind of limits are on the sea creatures. Like, will I have to swim off of different islands to find different creatures? Oh, hello. I got a scallop. Hello, diving friend. Pascal. Bet that scallop viewers can I have it. 
Thanks for generosity. Compel this cap, I left you a cool recipe in return. The pearls you need for that recipe are rare, but you can sometimes find them on the ocean floor. Keep my eyes open for the tomb, I might even trade you for a scallop if I find one. You ever take this is called give and give. Alright. Pascal is a weird one. But that means I need to keep an eye out for scallops because I can get pearls. Okay, right. I think that's the first trading NPC I found too. Lightbag fellow floating in the sea, consider sharing some of your scallops with him. You never know what he might learn in return, a little gift never hurts either. Kind and cynic. Mermaid wall clock. <clears throat> okay. I got sea urchin. That was a pretty good putt, though. I have to give him credit for that one. That was clever. Okay. A whelk. I wonder... I think I found scallops on the beach as well. So I think as long as I keep track of them... I might have a pretty reasonable... It might be pre pretty reasonable to find scallops, specifically. If that's the only thing he wants to trade for. A starfish. A sea star. How am I doing on collectibles? I have four slots left. Alright. And I got... Acorn Barnacle. Alright. Three more items, and then I probably need to go donate a bunch of stuff. I got another Welk. I think that's two more. So the nice part about diving is it seems like it refreshes fairly quickly. So it's something I could technically farm for pretty easily. This is... Sea Grapes. What is this? What are you getting me? Okay, got... 10 Sea Critters. How many... I have one more space. Okay. So, let's... Try to start heading back towards the beach, and then I'll try to get something on my way back. Because I think the nearest beach is over here. Let's try this spot. Oh. There we go. More sea acorns, or acorn barnacles. Okay. So now I should probably talk to Blathers. And then see what I can turn into him. 
and then I'm assuming I should just probably sell everything else. Okay. That's also a new bug that I haven't seen. Or made wall clock. Okay. It's a new recipe. Let me get back on my regular attire. Wherever it is. Let's do this first. Okay. The drone beetle. I do want to probably register the swimsuit in that spot. Maybe I should clear my inventory first because I don't see my outfit. And it might just be because I've not ri I have too many things. Unless the wetsuit goes over it. In which case I need to figure out how to take off the wetsuit. So first blathers to see what I can donate. Give him a moon jellyfish. Sure, why not? <laughs> okay, so I can start donating sea creatures now. So let's... Already gave him a whelk. I think that's one of everything. Let me make sure I got everything. Oh, I also think I have another fossil on me. Okay, so I gave him everything I have. It says fossils. And then I can stop by the shop after this. Okay, so I got a duplicate. Okay. A few more things to sell. And then... I need to clear out my storage. Again. First, I should probably go sell stuff. And also check with the hot item as well in here. Ironwood table and wooden block chair. Okay. Uh, so let's just go sell a bunch of stuff. 
then maybe do an island trip as soon as I can figure out how I take off my wetsuit. I just want to see what this clock looks like. Okay. Pearl, sea snail, coral, and iron nuggets. And I can tr probably check my critterpedia really quick. Grasshopper donated. Giant cicada. Drone beetle. Okay. So, for... Since I'm not really farming things specifically, I don't think I'm doing too bad. Okay. But I want to get all these dots away. Oh, the octopus picture is very good. Coconuts, the fossil. And I think that's everything. Okay. Another 10,000 bells. And I got the fruit cells. I just want to take a picture to get that out of the way. There we go. It's easy miles and I can delete it later so I might as well. Spend bells to buy items. <clears throat> I actually don't think I have that there so maybe I'll get it. Now let's check the Nook Shop, and I'll finish off the rest of the bells that I need to spend. It would be nice if I could figure out how to take off the wetsuit. Oh, hi. Okay. Okay, so I think he gave me a sink. And I missed some bugs. There we go. All the cockroaches are gone. Okay, so let's push this over and put it in the toilet. Uh, the do-it-yourself workbench. Uh, I want to say I just bought it. I don't think I did anything particularly special for this one. Uh, let me check the recipe. And thank you for the follow. Uh, Loki the Cafe. Uh, most of the recipes I got by buying the recipe packs from the, uh, the Brothers Shop. 
So let's see if I can find... Yeah, I just... These are the only two uh, do-it-yourself workbenches I have. And I'm pr I'm reasonably sure that's where I got them, but I can't say for certain. Alright. And what was the other thing I got? I think I got a sink. I shall see what this looks like. I kind of prefer the current sink I have, but maybe over here. Okay. Do I want to put up the fan? Or should I just put it in storage? And hello, sad blue alien. Let's put... Let's put the retro fan in the bathroom. Probably over in the corner, by the incense. There we go. Um, right now I don't really want to visit other islands. I somewhat have a plan that I want to do today. I mostly am gonna probably start hunting for villagers later. But I really wanted to check out the new, like, diving stuff. Especially because I can't figure out how to take off the wetsuit. Hmm. Like, listen, those villagers are the animals, they had it coming. Oh, I can hang formal paper on the wall. It will go above my katanas. That's too high up. Not entirely sure. Oh, there we go. Let's put that down there. There we go. And I have a baby bear. Will he? I don't think there's enough room in the animal corner. So how about here? Very good. Okay. I think that's everything cleared out that I need. But also- oh, I, maybe this is where I take off the wetsuit? There we go. Oops. Ah, I need to be outside to register it. Alright. I can't register the wetsuit. Okay. Is there anything else I need to do on the island? I don't know what this is. A walking leaf? Okay. So maybe... It's a very tiny bug. Is that a mosquito? 
It is Mosquito. What did I get for doing that? 40 bugs. Okay. Here's Curlos. Just kind of hanging out. Um... I don't think there's any other villagers that I missed talking to today, but I wanted to check the housing plots. Because I can't remember where they are. That was Lucy's house. I don't remember Lucy. With a simple do-it-yourself? Oh. I remember Lucy now. Lucy is kind of terrifying. And I didn't realize that she is a pianist. Okay. What did I get that for? Talk to neighbors every day. Okay. This is actually pretty good. Okay. But she looks kind of terrifying. I don't remember exactly which uh, recipe pack of I use for the workbench, but I can look at the ones that I have in the shop right now, and maybe that'll give you a hint. I can't exactly remember. I'd have to go back and check. Um. So it is either the do-it-yourself for beginners, the wildest dreams do-it-yourself, or the test your do-it-yourself skills. I don't remember which of those packs it was, but those are the three that I've... I'm pretty sure I bought all three of those. Okay. Oh, I need to donate those. That's right. I kind of want to ask Blathers about each of them. Because I want to see what he has to say about mosquitoes. So let's... Yeah, let's talk to Blathers and then I'll go on an island trip. Even though I don't have a whole lot of Miles missions to do. I should probably try to buy something from the shop before I head out. Just to finish up that one and see if I can get something lucky for it. Okay. Let's do the walking leaf. Okay. Now just the mosquito, and then I'll buy something from the shop. <clears throat> or from the Nook Miles machine. Okay. 
Okay. So one quick trip to the shop and then I'll go on an island adventure. And hopefully I'll either find a new villager or I'll find an interesting island, whichever comes first. Because I have two tickets on me it looked like. Alright. What did he have to buy? Because I can't remember. I want to say he had a swimsuit that I could buy. Alright. Okay. A leaf print suit for 3,000. And I forgot to check the seasonal items. That is something I could do. Summer solstice. With the bamboo grass is kind of nice. Okay. There's the Nook Miles. Chop wood, do-it-yourself projects, plant trees, and customize items. I could bring two customized things with me. Since I'll likely need a new tool, I'm guessing. And if I have to craft tools, then that would just clear up two slots at the same time. I think those are in here. Okay. Let's take two. Okay. In worst case scenario, I can just add them to some random item while I'm on the island. <clears throat> okay, one quick storage scan. Looks like I've cleared everything out. I have enough materials in case I need to make tools. And I also have pretty much everything I need to bring with me for the usual island stuff. Okay. Use the Nook Miles ticket. Okay. Okay. I don't know how many villagers I still need. I think I have at least one empty housing plot that I did confirm. And once that's settled, then I can see where I'm at villager-wise. It's Norwich Island. Good for selling, but not particularly great for anything else. Okay. It's a mosquito. And let's just start chopping trees. Because I also need to chop wood. I don't know if wasps can fall out of fruit trees. I can't remember. Oh, 
All right. I do know. Okay, I need a new axe. Perfect timing. So that gives me an excuse to craft two items. But also, oh, I got chopping wood. Oh, okay. Catch fish. So let's make this. And I see the villager. Villager spotted. Maybe customize it. I can't customize the axe. Okay. Oops. I'm also not sure if fruit trees can drop the furniture. I kind of figured they'd be able to, but I never really checked. Oh. I did not mean to... Usha. Okay. So I'm guessing that the tree, the fruit trees can drop furniture too. So I probably need to shake them a few more times just to be sure. Out. I don't think the coconut trees give me anything special. Hmm. I figured it would be within the first few shakes if they do drop furniture, so I'm just not really trying too many times if I see anything drop. But I also need to try freshwater fishing if I want to go for the uh, times two achieve, times two miles thing. So let's go for some freshwater fish. get the smaller one. Christian carp. Alright. See what fish this is. I need to catch at least five, and then that'll give me another mission to do. It's too far. 
That's why I can leave. Probably should do it from like here. There we go. Freshwater right Gobi, that's the one I needed. Okay. Dive for sea creatures. Perfect timing. Because that's what I plan on doing anyway. Maybe I should just clear out the trees up here. So I don't have to come back up here. Okay. Oops. Okay. Get these last two trees up here. Grab the boulder and then maybe go do some diving. Okay, shovel. That's not a shovel. So here and here. That looks right. Okay. A bunch of clay, which I don't really need. And a few iron, which, uh, I mean, I guess it doesn't hurt to always have extra resources. The main thing I'm trying to farm from stones is just gold. Oop. And I need to eat a cherry. Okay. So let's head down and maybe do some diving. Okay. Unless I want to do a little bit more fishing just to be safe. Not seeing anything dropping out of this tree. Okay. Into the water. <clears throat> so I need at least three underwater creatures for my Nook Miles Redemption. I got another jellyfish. Two more. There's one. That's a new one. A sea slug. Okay, that's another one to donate. And number three. That's also new. A spotted garden eel. Oh, yeah. Well, that looks like a type of fish I haven't seen. Oh, 
Okay. I got a ribbon eel. Okay. Pop balloons. What else did I get? I got a main achievement. Castmaster. Bunch of fish in a row, so I hit 50 for Castmaster. Okay. I saw a bug over there, but I couldn't see what it was. Alright. Let's just see how this plays out. Oh. That was almost immediate. Oh, there goes Castmaster. Okay. So I guess I should just start clearing out the island a bit. I, I didn't get any luck with the furniture. Which is a bit weird. I guess, I don't know if it works on all fruit islands. Because I thought it was every island, but I never really looked into it too deeply. So I don't know if fruit trees are able to drop furniture the same, or if I would have to find a regular tree. Oops. That was a misclick, but it also didn't matter. I think I almost got him locked onto it. A bar knife draw? I think I've already got one of those before. Butterfly fish? I don't know if I've caught one of those before. But that's the five fish that I needed to catch. Capture memory. Well, might as well just do that. There we go. Okay. And more chop wood. Easy. Okay. So after these trees, I'll finish up that one. Then I can start probably working on cleaning out the rocks. And then I can either fish for the rest of this stuff, or I can just go deep sea hunting until I uh, fill up my bags. Okay, sell fruit, can't do that, because I need a shop. But I'll definitely finish that when I get back. Maybe do a little bit of fishing just to be safe. J 
just in case I get something new, like I think that's new. Tilapia. when it's like immediate and that requires an immediate press. Oops. So now I'm to click there. I got bit by a mosquito. I didn't know that was a thing. Do I need medicine to get rid of that? Because if so, that's just an easy excuse to get medicine. Alright. In fact, maybe I should try that. Actually, I don't think I have any... I don't think I can craft any medicine. I don't think I have the necessary resources on me. No, I need... Because I don't have a wasp nest. Okay. So I don't actually know if the mosquito does anything or if it's just to let me know that it was being annoying. more clay and a little bit more iron. Let's eat another cherry. And I only have two slots left. There goes the shovel. Oh, that's another thing that I can craft. So that'll finish up the do-it-yourself requirements. and it'll cover one customization. So then I could just waste the other one on something else if I wanted to do that. <clears throat> okay. Let's actually grab those points first to see what I have. Access your wardrobe and change your look. I also forgot that I need a space for this, for the wetsuit. But once I use these two customizes, then that won't be an issue. Okay. How about the slingshot? Did I already customize it? I did. And I did it with a net. And let's just use it just to get it out of the way. Okay. Grab those points. Sell a hot item. That's pretty easy, because I think they're all crafting ones that I can do. And I also just got a bunch of resources.
Where do I want to dig? Okay, that is a spot. It sort of looked like the stump there was one square down, so I wasn't sure if I could dig on it. Okay. I think that leaves one stone and maybe a few trees. And then I'll have pretty much cleared out the island. And that will leave me with one more miles ticket that I can use for today. Unless I want to redeem some more. Or... I can just see what I want to do if there's anything left on the main island. Is there any other trees that I need to chop down? Not over here. Okay, I think it's just these ones. Okay. Clear out this section. Oops. Oops. Okay. No furniture luck, but that's fine. I hear a lot of noise outside, and I don't know what it is. It almost sounds like something falling over, unless somebody just has like leftover fireworks. Okay. One more rock. I'll see what my inventory's at. And then it's probably safe for me to leave after that. No gold, but that's also fine. Since gold is quite rare, I don't expect to get it particularly fast. I can either catch one more fish... Or let's just go for one more fish. Another Crucian Carp. Okay, and that's all of the inventory space I have. So I've gotten pretty much everything on the island that I can get, other than all of these very many sticks that I knocked down. Okay, so let's head back. And I just... Need to clear out my inventory and then I can either go immediately on another trip or I could set up a housing plot. Or it might be good to see where I'm at money wise. Because I think I'm at like 160,000 left on my loan. Uh, Mr. Greenshaw, thank you for the follow and hello, thanks for stopping by. Alright. Let's stop by... I think I have... Yeah, I do have some, uh, a few things to donate to Blather, so let's do that first. Okay. Alright. 
Five things to donate. Okay. <clears throat> Not a bad haul for a random island venture to find five creatures. And now I have very many oranges to sell. Which should give me a pretty decent bell amount. Okay. I need to see what the hot items are because I need to sell one of those too. That looks like everything. Thirty-six thousand six hundred and twenty. Okay. And I also got something else. Amount of fruit you've sold. I sold over a thousand fruit. Okay. So now I can craft a couple hot items to sell. Ironwood table or wooden block chair. Okay, let's see how much these cost. I should have plenty of resources on me so I don't have to dig into storage yet. That's probably gonna be... Wait, what? Oh, if you want to lurk, that's fine. If that's what you mean. Wooden block chair. I need a wooden block toy. Where's the wooden block toy? Let's just sort by everything and make it easy. There it is. Okay. Wooden block chair. I think that was what he said. And then it was an iron wood table, I think it was. Natural garden table, dog house. Dog house is tempting. A wooden fish, I should... At some point I should really start crafting stuff for outside. I think it was this one. Okay. So let's go sell those. I can also check here for these right ones. Yep, ironwood table and wooden block chair. So I'll clear these out, see how I'm doing on Nook Miles missions. Maybe make another payment of my loan. And then I can either do some more. I forgot, I missed a jellyfish. Okay. A zebra turkey fish, access wardrobe, 
And I still gotta plant trees. But I don't think I wanna do that. Just because I don't feel like cleaning it up later. Okay. So I could probably do wardrobe really quick. Maybe just take off my headpiece. Um... It changed. Is there any head accessories that I want to switch to? Maybe switch shoes. Just for a little bit. Okay, that should be good. And I guess I'll just take another picture to get that out of the way. Sell clumps of weeds, that's... an easy one. Oops. <clears throat> okay. Three do-it-yourself projects. I can't think of anything that I'd want to craft right now, unless I just want to decorate stuff outside, but I think that's going to be a whole thing, and I would rather do a like, concentrated effort to do that. Let's restock my cherries. So I ate a few of them on the island, so let's just get a few more. Okay. Any fish off of the dock? There is. I think that's the wrong spot. It's too far back. How about here? How about over here? Is a sea bass. Alright. Sand dollar. Might be good to uh, try to farm up some, sh uh, some shells. Just in case I get any scallops to trade. I should also probably just clear out these rocks while I'm thinking about it. out of the way. And keep getting shells. I haven't seen any balloons. That's something I also need to keep a lookout for. fish. I don't remember if I have any clownfish. I should probably just check that. Clownfish is new. Okay, so that's one thing I can donate. I also forgot I need to be collecting weeds. Okay. Yep, 
get some more apples. Let's check up here. I think there's a few fruit trees up here that I can grab. a nice stack of oranges. Let's see if there's anything interesting in the pond. I pulled it in too quick. Okay. I need a ladder. Okay, I think that's about enough weeds. I need one more. doing on space. I have quite a few slots. So I can do another... Oh, there's something new on that tree. I got a walking stick. Oh. Oh, that is a very self-aware Animal Crossing line. Guessing that's a sea bass, but let's try it. Yes, it is. Okay. So I can either clear my inventory now, or I can go diving around the island for some stuff. What kind of shells did I get? I didn't realize going over 100,000 was the cap. If I keep giant clams, I can make a fountain. Um... Yeah, let's go diving. More seaweed. Let's maybe try to stay into the front of the island, just so I can quickly get back to the main hub area. Another spot of garden eel. So I think the main thing I need is probably scallops to trade. Because I don't know if Pascal, I think the NPC was, if he stays here, or if he's one who randomly appears now. Alright. Acorn barnacles. I should also... I can't check my... Oh, I can't check my phone. I wanted to see...
Okay, so there are active hours and months for the sea creatures. So that means everything probably won't be available. I got a pearl oyster. Seems like the activation on the dive is a little bit weird if I dive down straight into it. It seems like they kind of want me to swim into whatever the object is. Okay. Make sure that I'm being thorough on shells, because I need them for several reasons. Which is also the main reason that I want to stick sort of close to the beach. <clears throat> Another sea urchin. these. Oh, that's a new bug. Alright. I got a horn, Dynastid. Okay, how am I doing on space? I still have one slot left. I've got three clams. That's maybe... Fill up on coconuts, and then I'll go sell stuff. Oops. Well, I gotta donate first, actually. Oh, I don't have room for a sea snail. So don't sell the giant clams. That's the one thing I gotta keep in mind. And I should probably step to blathers before I sell anything. And I can't take off my swimsuit. Okay. I think after I clear up my inventory now, then I'll go on an island, my last island expedition of the day, and then I'll probably call it after that. Because I think I got a pretty good view today of the diving stuff. Okay. I need to see if I have enough housing plots before I go on an island expedition, though. If I don't have enough housing plots, then I'll have to buy at least one more so I can invite the next villager. Okay. I kind of wish there was a more convenient way to deal with taking out the swimsuit. Like, it would be really nice to be able to, like, register it like my other tools. Okay. So I need to sell sea bass, sand dollar, cowrie. All those. Save the clams. I need one more clam. Seaweed, coconuts. That looks like everything. Okay. 20,000. 
Okay. Hit rocks. I could do that. <clears throat> I need to check my inventory. I don't know why it defaults to taking out uh, the over 90,000 bells and putting them in the bag. I would have figured it would take the overflow amount and not the total that I had on me. Okay. So let's... I think the first thing I should probably do is get a new housing plot just to be safe. Sell some land. Okay. I'll put down the housing plot, clear up my storage, and then I'll go on my last island expedition of the day. Then I should be all set. Because I think I've talked to every villager multiple times today. It would be nice if I could find one large clam. I could probably do that while I'm finishing up the rocks for today. Or my rocks for my small mission. Black bass. Fact, maybe check up here and do that because I think there's a rock up here I need to break. It might be up top. Okay. Uh, shovel. the requirements for the nook miles and I also need I forgot I wanted to pay off some debt that was the other thing I wanted to do so the interesting part about today is I think this is the first day that I'm ending without having any major project started other than the one housing plot that I'm about to set up but I think everything else is pretty much done. I missed some oranges. Like, there's no major building renovations that I know of, because I think the museum stuff is done pretty much automatically. Uh, with the update. So they don't have to like take down the museum and build everything back up. It seems like it's gonna be immediate. I'm wondering if I should check out the museum before I end, just to see all the stuff that I've put in there so far. Um I could do that in the next time I stream this. Because I would. Because I still want to do. Like, I think for story goals, I would be happy ending, like, if I got up to the KK Slider stuff. 
if I get that far in, then I'll see if I want to stream past there, or if I want to make it an entirely personal game after that. But I think that sounds like a pretty good general goal. Or building the robot, whichever comes first. Based on the way I'm getting gold, the robot seems like it's gonna be a while. I also forgot to clear out the weeds so I can't get the max rocks. to check what my new... Oh, it was plenty of flowers. Okay. I think there's only a few more things I can do before I need to head out. Um... I still need to find a good housing spot. I'm sort of thinking down in that corner by Boone might not be bad. Oh, hi. A reaction. Okay. I got the laughter reaction. So this housing plot sold to Fusha. Um, balloon. Okay. I'm doing relatively well in Nook Miles, if I do say so myself. Earn bells by selling items. I got 10,000 bells. Okay. Might as well grab some weeds because I have to sell them anyway. Is there another good housing spot over here? This area might not be too bad. <clears throat> like maybe over in this corner. I would like to move maybe this tree over. And then I can put the housing plot down here. That should be generally fine. Okay, let's try here. Yeah, that seems fine. Okay. And I can grab another cherry to refill my stack. Clear up my storage, and then the island adventure. Because I don't think there's any notable shells left. At least not that I can see. There's one. Sand dollar, that's a cell. Nope, I think I've mostly cleared them out. Okay. 
So yeah, now I just gotta sell items. Actually, I should probably put another payment down first. Just to make sure I have room for money. Because I need to spend at least 30,000. So that I don't have to carry bags of bells on me. And hello, go woman. Thanks for stopping by. Let's do actually 60,000. Oops. Uh, maybe 65,000. Just to round it off. Okay, so here's the question. Do I want to pay off my loan now and work on expanding my house? I think I do because I'm about to do another island trip. Okay, let me just make sure that those bags are cleared out. They are not. Okay. Let's keep... Let's play the bulk of it from pockets. So like 40... 3 that oops. There we go. Well, maybe not the bulk of it. And then let's do like... 30,000 from savings. You're reading about the Spinosaurus, which is a good sim. That's a... So, picturing swimming dinosaurs is kind of weird unless it's like a very ancient shark. Alright. I need to have a fossil assessed. And then I can clear up my storage and see how I'm doing money-wise. So I think my goal before I end today, after my island expedition, is going to be to pay off the rest of the debt. And then that should let me expand my house again. It's like, yeah, land dinosaur swimming is a weird concept. It's like hearing that they were covered with feathers, it's just kind of very against the image of most dinosaurs. Alright. Right megaloside. Okay. New fossil. Oh, I completed the specimen. Megalosaurus is a remarkable creature. Okay. I guess I finished a fossil for an old deer. Okay, and I don't have anything else to donate. Okay. So I need to sell everything. It's like, admittedly, I'm not gonna make an attempt to pronounce any of those. I feel like pronouncing... I have not great at pronouncing dinosaur names. But they all sound very fancy. Oh. Did Flurry sneeze? Or is she stretching? It's 
It's like, yeah, that's fair. Nobody's good at pronouncing dinosaur names. I guess it's because there's only like a handful that most people see in like movies that they hear all the time, but then trying to read them, it's just a nightmare. Okay. Ooh, fantasy. Oh. Thank you for the fellow goat woman. Alright. Flurry is quite good. Okay. So, I need to sell stuff. That's what I was doing. Okay. So, I think my plan right now clear my inventory, do an island expedition, do a quick tour through the new sections of the museum, and then I'll probably call it a day after that. So, I'd imagine that'll take me a good 20 minutes to half an hour. Ah, uh, I want to save those clams. I think that's all I have to sell. Okay. 3,000 bells, not quite as much as I was hoping for. Okay. And I need to stop by my house. Uh, I don't currently have a schedule when I stream. It's mostly just... I would almost say random, but the most consistent times I stream are gonna be probably late night around uh, midnight eastern time. But I've been, when I play Animal Crossing, I try to do it earlier in the after, either, oops, either, um, afternoon, like around 4 to 6 p.m. or 2 8 p.m. at the latest. But yeah, for my main playthroughs that I do, those are usually pretty late night Eastern Standard Time. Okay. But I do also have... a VOD channel for any streams that I do that are missed. Which I just posted a link to in chat. Usually any streams that I do will be up there within a day or two. And I probably do one to two streams per week unless there's like... Some particular reason that I don't, which is usually like... Either I'm feeling sick or... Like this last week there was a major heat wave so I just didn't have the energy to. Ah. Uh. Oh, thanks for making the time to watch me. Even though I'm not the most consistent. Alright. I think... Yeah, that heat wave was pretty rough. Especially because... My streaming setup d isn't the most, like, cooling friendly, so by, like, the three hour mark, I'm basically just dying of heat stroke, so I have to... I've been trying to invest in more fans, and I set up air conditioning, but it's not quite the best. So I've just been trying to play it by ear. Alright. Let's... <clears throat> I didn't realize I had a stack of 15. Okay. It's like I would like to stream more regularly, it's just really weird figuring out times, and I don't have the greatest sleep schedule. So it's definitely something I just... For better or worse, I tend to wing it. Alright. 
And I also tend to get into a habit of wanting to watch other people's streams more than I want to stream myself a lot of the time, which probably doesn't help. Okay, but anyway, on a lighter note, let's go do my last island expedition of the day. Because I just made a housing plot for one new villager, and whichever villager I find first, I'll be filling it in. Okay. Okay. Let's hope I get something good. Either in terms of islands or in terms of villager, either would be fine. Cause I still need I still haven't found two fruit types yet. And I've done a lot of different island trips, so I just kinda haven't got a good roll on those. Oh, okay. <laughs> It's cherries. Okay. There's a lot of rocks in the center, though. That's the last giant clam I need, so I can make a new fountain. So that's kind of nice. Okay. Cherries aren't the best thing to find, but it's... I guess it's just something to sell. I was hoping I would at least get a foreign fruit so that I could cash in and guarantee that I'm going to finish paying off my house today without going broke. No furniture either. There's another rock. It is very unfortunately placed. Because I can't... It's sort of secluded, so I don't think it can drop as many things. Okay, and thank you for subscribing to the YouTube channel. Okay. Right. Oops. Oh, I accidentally started grabbing weed, so I might as well keep doing it. Oh, okay. Oops. Alright. There's also not a whole lot of trees here. It seems like it's just an island specifically for a handful of rocks. Yeah, there's not a whole lot here. Um... Do I have to swim mo over there, or is there a spot that I can leap across? Maybe I have to go where that one rock was. I don't know if I have that bug type. Yeah, I figured it was- oops. I figured it was just breaking this one rock would let me over. This is a- uh, Weird island design. Oh, 
Okay, so let's put that there. If all these rocks have bells, I won't... I'll be extra confused about this island. It is a really weird one. So far, every rock I've hit has bells. Granted, I've only hit two, but there's only like... six trees. And it's mostly water. Yeah, bells are pretty much a thing I need right now, so I guess it's not bad. Okay. I guess this is... kind of a treasure island, maybe? Maybe that's a good way to describe it. It gives me like just enough fruit to clear out all the rocks. Almost got back up to a hundred thousand in pocket, and I think I was at around tw so I've made around fifty thousand bells so far, if I remember right, from the boulders here. All right. Oops. I have to say the sound effect for getting like the higher bell tiers is really nice though. I had around 30,000. Okay, so now I'm at over 50,000. It's like, yeah, either way, yeah, I've almost hit bell cap just doing this island. Oops. The spacing trying to go from below looks a bit weird. That should do it. Oops. Okay, it's all bells. That puts me over a hundred thousand. Okay. It's like, yeah. I would say it's... It's more than I would have made out of a foreign fruit island. Because I think the last one I did put was like around 30,000 once I cleared out my bag, so... I guess this is the main thing I wanted, was I wanted to get money. Because I needed... just a little bit more to clear off the rest of my current housing loan. So that'll give me enough to upgrade my house. And that's... and I still have a lot of... fishing and stuff that I can do. I need to make a new shovel. Okay. Let's see. Flimsy shovel. It wasn't quite what I expected out of an island, but I guess it's not that bad. I wonder, wonder if these are all considered pond or river fish.
because if these are all pond fish due to being enclosed, that could also make this a particularly valuable island for that for that reason. I got a crawfish. I haven't caught one of those yet. I'm not seeing any new bug species though. That mosquito is eyeing me. I caught a rock. Um, can I reach that fish from here? Probably not. I don't know if I'll turn around and see it. There we go. I think I missed it. Alright. And I got a frog. I think my favorite was one I found today where it was a self-aware one where the Animal Crossing called out its own puns. That was... I can't remember what it was for though. It was... I want to say it was for a diving one. Where it's like, this is what we're working with. Scared something off. I don't know if I have whatever this is. Okay, I do have that one. So I'm getting... Uh, I don't remember if I have frogs or not. So it seems like I'm getting lucky with fish at least. The goldfish I already had. Wait, I can probably check... Was goldfish... Okay, so this is all a pond. That's interesting. Because ponds are very limited on the main island. So if these are all considered pond fish, then this is basically a rabbit spawn rate for... kind of... fish that usually require bait. I can't leave it to it's like I'd imagine they're very satisfied with themselves. Alright. <clears throat> so it might just be good to farm pond fish while I'm here. Just so I don't have to use bait on them. Okay. And I got a rock. Um, looks like I need to hop over. Actually, how am I doing on inventory space? A uh, pretty decent amount of spots. So let's maybe go one fish and then I'll finish everything else off with diving. Actually, I should probably do wood first. And see where I'm at after that. 
Okay. I mean, your pun was about on the level of mineral, so don't worry. You're at the level of Animal cross Crossing writers. Uh. One pun I did really like was Sea Urchin. I thought that was a really clever one they did. I don't know if I'll be able to find another one while I'm diving, but I hope they're particularly proud of themselves for that one. Okay. Almost got all the trees cleared out. Already got that bug. Okay, into the water. Did I forget to assess a fossil? Oh well. I also should probably just dump this clump of weeds. Okay, there's the wetsuit. Actually, I'll hold on to it just so I have a spot to put- oops. Just so I have a spot to put my wetsuit when I take it off. I do like how the steampunk goggles both just kind of work as regular goggles. Grapes. The main thing that I think I need to farm from diving is scallops, it sounds like. Because it sounds like scallops can get me some nice trading stuff. But all I'm getting are welks. It would be kind of nice if... I don't know if you can check the... Like, information on museum pieces. But it would be kind of nice to see them add a little bit of flavor text to the museum. Especially since there's so much time put into it. Like, I wouldn't mind them putting a little bit more... Into that, aside from just writing. Like, I think Blathers' delivery is pretty good, but it's also, like, it's really easy to skip if you're donating things in bulk. And it would just be kind of nice to go through the museum and be more encouraged to, like, read all the information about them. Oh, that's new. A sea pineapple. Oh. Oh no. Oh, okay. There's a sea urchin. Wasn't even urchin for it. That is a very good wordplay. A muscle? Uh, yes, this is my first Animal Crossing game. I'm still not entirely sure how I feel about it. Like, I feel like some things come off as a little bit too tedious to me, but a lot of people seem to enjoy it. Like, I don't really like working on the flower, like the flowers on the main island. 
Like, I know it has benefits of getting special kind of bugs, it just seems like it's something that's extra tedious and isn't particularly rewarding to me. And I've kind of just been... I've been playing this extremely casually, like maybe one or two times every few weeks. But it doesn't feel like I'm missing out on too much content in general, which is kind of nice. Like, it seems like all the new stuff that they're adding is available to me as soon as I'm ready for it. Alright. But I think for, like, my first Animal Crossing experience, I would say... I'm generally enjoying it, but I don't think I would ever go back to the older games. Because I feel like the main thing for me that was a selling point is I really like how they did the Nook Miles. I like having micro-objectives given to me. And the way the older games were interpreted to me was that you have to kind of make up your own objectives. There isn't really a guiding force, other than paying off loans. And that didn't sound particularly interesting to me. Ah. Like, there are definitely things in this one that appeal to me more than what I've heard in the prior ones. But I'm also still not completely sold on the franchise yet. Granted, I tend to be more... Like, I would say, like, my favorite types of games tend to be, like, action or hack and slash games. Like... Probably Kingdom Hearts being one of my main favorite franchises. So I tend to like more faster paced gameplay, but it is kind of a nice change of pace every so often to go to a game like this. I think the biggest problem with this game for me right now is, I don't have an overall goal. And I think that is gonna be... I think that's consistently been a problem keeping me engaged, is I don't have a specific plan for my island. Like... I do like that there's story stuff, sort of. Like, trying to get K.K. Slider to come to the island is based on how many villagers you have. And then there's island ratings. Like, I do like a lot of things this game gives me, but I would also say it's a little bit vague on, like, a broader scale, which is something that makes me a bit cautious of it. Like, when I see people, like, who recreated an entire Zelda map on their island, it's like, that is an ambitious project that I can really respect. But I also don't have anything even close to that scale. Uh. Yeah, I think that's my problem with... I just don't know what I want to do with my island. I think it's also because since this is my first game, I don't really know... Like... I guess kind of a general aesthetic to go for. Okay. Like, I think one of the most... One part that I haven't really looked into is I know that every villager has their kind of own aesthetic, and which can go to like furniture or clothing. I have not made any effort to like see what would be good to gift them.
It's like, yeah, ideal living area is tempting. Is I think it's a case where if I unlock more furniture or items, I think I'll be able to develop more of a plan. But right now I have such a narrow view of all the things that are available to me that I just don't really know what I want to do with them. Um, I think right now I don't really want to take any visitors just because I'm probably only going to be going for like maybe 10 more minutes. But Vigatino thinks of the follow. I think once I clear out my storage, I'm probably going to be calling it after that for today. Alright. What is Kurlos doing? Okay. <clears throat> yeah, I think the... If I had a better idea of all the stuff in the game, I would maybe be able to make a plan, but right now I'm just kind of winging it. Okay. So let's... Clear out my stuff. And then I'll pay off my debt, and then I'll call it a day. Oh, I need to make a fountain. I did forget about the fountain. Yeah, it's definitely... Especially because I've... I've tried to go into this game as blind as I could. Did I, I got for selling stuff. I forgot I had that. And crafting the fountain will give me the last do-it-yourself recipe for that Nook Miles. And then... I gotta see where I want to put it. I guess one nice part about the way they do bells is it looks like it compiles all of the smaller bags that I had on me and then it uh, puts them into my main inventory and then it puts a big stack of 99. Uh, oops. Storage. Where are my clams at? Um... Uh... There they are. Okay. My villagers so far? I could do a quick run through my villagers. Um, but let me just craft this first. Where is the fountain? There it is. And I have Boone, Canberra, Sherb, Lurry, Lucy, Winnie, and I think I just invited Fusha and Kurlos. I think that's all the ones I have right now. But it doesn't hurt to visit them. I already talked to Curlo since I got back. 
And there's Canberra. Okay. I think this is... This is Lucy's house. I have not seen Lucy outside. I'll just make it something. Wooden block chest. I've kind of been going for the first villager I run into is the one that I take. Mostly because, like, if I am going is for KK Slider as my main objective, I just want to fill up my village first. Alright. I think I already have that bug type. And... here, sure. I don't know their home. Sherb is probably my favorite villager of the ones I have. Alright. And then there's Winnie, who is up here on the right. Yeah, Snuggins is an interesting one. In flurries is powder puff. Flurry is like this weirdly cute character who seems like a mom, and it's kind of a weird contrast. Winnie is the energetic one. Oh. I do kind of wish I... I'm very conflicted over whether I should look up what kind of gifts appeal to my individual villagers. Or if it would be better to just give them a bunch of stuff and hope for the best. Because I have not tried messing around with the gift giving at all. Oh, that's the same bug from earlier. Okay. Boone is a new, kind of a strange one. Like, he's the jockey type, which I probably am not a fan of, but he doesn't seem as overbearing as the others. As I would expect from a jock character. Like, Boone seems like a jock character who has, like, self-esteem issues and is very, like, kind of down on himself, and it's kind of more appealing than just him being, like, an aggressive jock character. It's like, yeah, I'm, I'm very conflicted about looking stuff up. On one hand, it's like there are things that feel like I have to, because it'll just be more annoying not to. But I also feel like part of it's supposed to be, I'm supposed to get to know the villagers myself. And since I've never played an Animal Crossing game, I think that's kind of a good route. But I'm also not sure how much they like discussion. There's Flurry. Okay, so I think that's all my villagers other than Fusa, Fusa who I just recruited today, and she's moving in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and pay off the rest of my housing debt, and maybe look into upgrading my house. So then by the next time I stream, I can do a little bit of redecorating in there. And then... 
maybe try to finish up whatever villager slots are left. I, I don't remember how many I have on me. Uh, that's not what I wanted. Okay. So let's put... 30,000 in the bank. And then pay off the rest of the loan. Okay. Is I think maybe once I get all of my villagers in, then I'll start worrying about gifting, because by then I might have enough furniture or clothing to actually like make use of it. Alright. Let's see about upgrading my house. So that gives me something building to look forward to the next time I stream. Other than another villager possibly moving in. I also haven't... Oh yeah, there are new postings. I also haven't got the clothing shop yet. That's one thing I need to eventually find. I missed the bug event. There's a... Fishing tournament on Saturday. Okay. That might be good to keep in mind, because I haven't tried out any of the tournament stuff yet. Uh, I haven't really messed with the color options too much. But, oh, I need to put this fountain up somewhere. How big is this fountain? It's not super big. I don't know if there's a good spot that I want to put it. Maybe over here. No room. Eventually, I probably need to, like, rework my fence over there. And I know that there's, like, some beach items, which might not be bad to try to get eventually. Maybe over by the camps I have a fountain. Because I don't think I can place anything in the town square. Okay. That seems fine for now. And hello, official Maria. You've kind of caught me right at the end. Because I think... I've mostly run out of stuff to do. Also, greetings from Germany. Er, greetings to Germany, I should say. Okay. Yeah, I don't think I have... Unless I were to do another island expedition, but I think two is usually as much as I want to do for a day. 
So I'll just clear out these oranges that I got. And then I think I might have to call it there. Okay. Okay. So I think the other loan that I got was 500,000, so I think between my savings amount and the amount in pocket, I have about a fifth of that. Maybe I should just round off my deposited amount to 100,000. Isabel's doing a snooze. one more s quick scan of the shopping network to see if there's because like I think I already bought that and I did by pondering um I didn't buy these yet though let's buy these two seasonal items okay and I think that's everything for today So yeah, thanks for stopping by and have a good sleep. Alright. And I'm just gonna head in here because I usually like to end it by having my character go to bed themselves. Alright. Okay, so I'm gonna end it there. Uh, Again, thanks for all the people to stop by. Thanks for chatting. And I'll probably try to. I would kind of like to do the fishing tournament, so I'll at least try Animal Crossing maybe on Saturday. And between then, I'll probably be continuing my Legend of Zelda Minish Cap playthrough or my Spyro playthrough later at night. I'm not sure which days yet. I'm still just kind of winging it. But that being said, thanks for stopping by and see you next time. Bye.